Welcome to Hacker.exe. I know I said uh, in my last video that I was going to make an effort to... I'm going to turn this down. Uh, play a more highly rated hacker simulator type game. But it changed my mind and I offer no apologies for that. Alright, Hacker.exe. Released September 14th, 2018. Developed and published by Link Up Games. Um, Hacker.exe is a horror slash strategy slash puzzle that takes you to a near future where the internet has become a safer place due to worldwide regulations. You start to question how safe the internet is because you, as a hacker, keep noticing security organizations working with illegal businesses. That begs the question, why? Um, and I chose to play this game four okay number one um starting to get the picture here on steam um review ratings so it's rated as negative it was actually mixed a moment ago uh, i didn't notice it change but it wasn't uh anyway i uh, decided to play it uh, there's a lot of negative reviews here so yeah, i guess we're gonna find out why in a moment but um decided to do it because Cryptic Dingo here in their review, great game. It taught me how to be a elite hacker. I would 100% recommend. Um, clearly, Cryptic Dingo, very strong chaos energy. Um, definitely a Joker type, and so I have to try it. Welcome. Finish this test. I'll give you some job offers before we can start going ahead and hack the game. It's a big-ass cooperation that involves itself with criminal activity, while stating that they try to protect users from viruses and malicious content on the internet. Pretty ironic, right? You'll eventually take them down, but first, I'll show you the basics of what job offers are. What are you pointing to? There's nothing down here. Send file. Okay. We can't go back. <laughs> there is no. <laughs> there is no way now to get rid of the phone. Ah, there we go. Right click. Try to. F oh god, this fucking flashing arrow. Try to find the. Net LMS web page so you can get all the entries and get me an account. I would really like to start seeing those. I don't know now. What are you pointing to? I have no more messages. There's. What in the. Uh, okay. Um, absolutely no descriptions as to precisely what these are supposed to be. Uh, updates. There's not, literally no information as to what these are. These at least have descriptions. You have to pay to get a console. You have to Pay to get a notepad. Hixcoin miner. You can't go back. You have to close the whole thing down. I mean, I would... Be glad. To, I see. I don't have enough money even to get a console, do I? Oh, I do. It's giving me a beeping noise. Okay. Can't actually click anything over here. Can't click coffee. Can't click that. Um. All right. 
Let's... How the... Oh, oh, okay, there we go. Of course, we have to right-click. Right-click activates and goes back. Left-click does nothing. Okay, all right. Still got the flashing arrow, though. Of course, right-click. Is it net films? Did I misread that? Can't click up here. Okay. That does nothing. Can't right click, can't left click. I'll right click or left click here. I can. Okay, I can click on that. That brings me right back here. Okay. Definitely says net ilms, not net films. Just wanted to make sure that I wasn't stupid. The uh, link for these is actually slightly above. Join free for a day. What the hell is the point of any of this? Okay. This is tedious. Can't actually click on the address bar. Oh my god. Really? Okay. What fever dream is this? Good God. <laughs> Net Ilms. I can't actually search. This does nothing. And this does nothing. This does nothing. This does nothing. This does nothing. I, 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 this is where it was like, okay, you have copied the text to the clipboard. So what? Those go nowhere. Okay. Is this really you put in the URL? You put in your own IP address, which this is not a properly formatted IP address. And then you press the hack button. Is that what I meant to do? Okay. Am I supposed to actually be doing anything here, or? Act failed. Is there anything in particular I can do to prevent that from happening? I can't seem to do anything about it.
can I continue to, like, can I keep adding whatever this red malware is supposed to be? Nope, oh, one at a time. Can't do anything over here. Can't do anything over there. I, okay. All right, what about these? How to hack? Okay, well, there's some instructions that might be helpful. Uh, once selected, um, depending on how many B56, 693, you bought a circle on top. We'll show you how many you have. Tap in order to select. Use these to clear the path as well as the blue virus. Once selected a virus, once selected, yeah, once selected a virus, click on the path to send them, to send to them. You must first clear the path with either the yellow or the blue virus, depending on the defense. This fucking flashing arrow. The red virus is the only one able breaching the main board and complete the path. You should send him carefully as he is not as strong as the other virus and also cannot attack the defenses. You should send him when you feel the path has been cleared enough. Okay, so I'm going to need... That is a correct thing. Worried about that. Uh, but I do need them to now I know what this is, so we're gonna need at least two of these. And I don't know what this is, but let's get one of those, I guess. All right, all right. See, we are we're doing a thing. Like this is progress. Figuring it out. It's at least a game. It is a game. Obviously, none of this, virtually anything I've seen here, is even remotely accurate to true life. But it is It is a game, at least in the technical sense. And then he eats that guy. Is there anything I have to do? No. Okay. Oh, good thing we got two. Oops. There we go. What does the blue guy do that the yellow guy don't? Do I need the blue guy to like do something over here? I send the red guy and he's not ready. I'll have to buy some more yellows. No problem so far. Hey, act successful. We did it. Um, how to decrypt? Even when you must get your address so that there are no leaks with the information. That does not make any sense. After hacking the website, you will see that the encrypted file text box will contain random text. You must have then press decrypt. There will be circles falling and falling when you are decrypting. When the blue part of the circle that is falling reaches the white part of the static circle, you can either tap it or use ASD to gain progress in decrypting. A is for the left static circle, S is the middle, and D is the right. When you are decrypting, you will be rewarded with progress for the circles that were clicked, tapped on time. Okay, so I think I get it. I'm, oh, we, that's right. We need that IP. Didn't give me an error, but it's got to be there. It won't work. Okay. All right, waiting for those. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, I'm getting it. I, I thought that it was the outside circle. It's the inside circle. Decrypt complete. Package has been created. Check your desktop for the decrypted package. It's this guy over here. Username. Some random texts. 3948. D's almonds. That's hilarious. That's really funny. That's really, really funny. All right. I got money for doing that. 
Now what am I supposed to do? Okay, and now, oh, Garrett. I heard a rumor about the company I work for. Hack into my boss's email address and find out what document he's hiding. All I know is, all I know his email, Hudson2000 at God only knows. I have no idea. Uh, can I copy this? No. Okay. Oh, uh, I think I just did. Yeah, it's Garrett. My buddy Garrett. Um, so now, what? Yeah, we're not after a website here. Is that what this guy's for? This McAfee symbol? It's a VPN. Okay. Am I supposed to go to, like... I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I also can't actually see the email anyway. It's under menu here. Oh, uh, let me turn the sound up because when I, well, oof, we're running 30 frames per second. We got to get 60 frames per second for this guy here. All right. Is there a way we can also change? Yeah, can. Oh, that's the background. I was really hoping to be able to change the resolution because clearly this is not. Oh, for God's sake. We can't actually change the sound. The bar does not work. Tutorial manual. Yes, let's change the. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay, that's not helping us. Damn it. File. Uh, folders about Onyx plus plus low costa. All right, fucking hell. All right, I'm getting annoyed with that. Inject a manifest file to continue. I don't have one of those. Um,. This fuck <laughs> God. Honestly, the flashing arrow is going to do me in. Before anything else, it will be the flashing arrow that causes me to quit this. Um, I... Fuck. Thought. All right, let's try not pressing... Uh, okay. Open the phone tab. Start the new job offer. You have to hack first. Select a contact. Replay a job offer. Send package. Okay. Uh, okay. Channel uh, at risk. Okay, I got that. Browsers are you going to have to go in order to hack what you're. Why is it always. The, it, these hacking simulators, they place so much emphasis on the browser. Like the browser is what you is what you will use in, a, in any case. Like it's like either the browser or the, the just the simple console is like terminal window is used as like some kind of magical talisman. Like just including these things is enough. It's just such a strange cargo cult kind of, kind of thing. Um, uh, okay. That's how we create a file. Well, that's easy enough. And they were back at the beginning with no help at all. Okay. Open folder, right disk, computer, we have nothing there. Um, let's go back, check the phone again, and no messages. Can I move this? No, of course it's a phone, why would I be able to move it? I think it's Hudson2000 at info.com, but I really cannot see. I can see foe.com. Can't, and there's the at, so I can't see whatever is underneath here. I'm guessing it's info. I have given you, I have given you a link. Okay. Oh, oh, I need to accept the job. Thanks for accepting my job offer. I've never come to such an extreme where I ask someone to hack you for me. But here I am. Anyways, I need to help hack my boss. Hiding something from the company, and I need you to know it. 
All right. That's why we couldn't do it, because we had to accept the job. Okay, if you say you sent me a link, I don't have a link. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I have given you the username. Tutson2000 at myinfo.com. Find the password. Oops. Oh, uh, wait, did it say that there was another message or no? No. No. Okay, so then... All right, now we have sysmail.com. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Just grab any URL off the site, like that'll do it. And of course we can't. I mean, if this were real, maybe we could try using a password reset feature, but... Oh, I should have known. When you see hack, the add symbol, that's how you know it's the URL you're looking for. Oh, I'm going to need some... Uh... I'm going to need a couple of these guys. I'm going to assume two. Oh. Uh, go there, get this here, get there. Okay. Uh, just as before, we have two. Two targets. I'm going to send the blue one next time because I want to see what the blue one does. Because it said the yellow and the blue ones can be used to clear the way. But I feel like the yellow ones are probably for these things and the blue ones are probably for some other threat. So I might be wasting a blue one here, but I want to see what... Oh, nothing happened. It just died immediately. So I guess it's for something else that we don't have yet. That was kind of a waste of money, but uh, it's not like the game was helping me out here as far as giving me the ability to figure it out. So, All right, another brain buster of a puzzle solved in the tank. Laser defense destroyed. Achievement unlocked. Oh, that's right. I got to decrypt it. All right. Oops, that was my fault. Ah, shit. Hacking is all about timing. And by that, I mean, it's all about your ability to press a button at the right time. Not as in, you know, knowing when to strike or anything. It's all about knowing when exactly to send the button. All oh, right, I gotta open the package. Two, three, six. Hypersync. O one, o o one. Why is it not ready? What? Are we supposed to log in with that? Okay. Ah. Uh. 
Two, three, six. I person. If I could just copy and paste. Two, three, six. I person oh one. Okay. Coupon will expire soon. Check out a new game. Document you were asking for. Uh, you asked me to give you the copyrighted material on this encrypted document file. I had an, an NCD agent check it. He said it looked fine, but that further tests are required to validate it. They told me about an AI, whatever. Am I allowed to download this? Nothing's happening when I click on it, so I'm guessing not. We'll do payments. Get send us the copyright. Hyperlink. Oh, you have been suspended for unauthorized cyber activity. What? I've been locked? What? You can't do that. I thought this was America. Excuse me, I thought this was America. Am I done yet? What else do you want me to do for you? What the hell? What else do you need me to do? Ah, shit. I accidentally closed it. Damn it. Okay, um, so, I, I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Hyperlink goes there. Doxo goes burr. No, it doesn't do anything when I click on it, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Um, can't do that, can't do that, can't do that, can't do this, can't do this, can't do this. Must have something to do with the hyperlink then, I guess. Drake Smith. Project Guardian. I don't know what the hell you want me to do, though. Okay, and the arrow is still flashing on the screen. I can't do anything with this, but click on it, and then it takes me here, and then that's it. Do I need... Oh! I just noticed the URL has the symbol in it, so... That's what we need to do. Need to hack. Of course, should have known. What do we have? Oh, shit. I need to go buy some malware. I don't have any yellows or blues now. Uh, yep. And I need some yellows. Oh, wait. No, that's not where we get them from. We have to go to our phone to buy them. What the fuck? Just give me like four of them. Ah, why we would have to enter our own IP address in here, I don't understand. Why would we ever need to do that? Imagine having a program you're running on your own machine that requires you to manually enter your own IP address. Just imagine. Another yellow into the fray. This is thrilling. <sighs> Ghetto was glitches. The overall layout was meh, but could be improved. I'm reading the other Steam reviews. I'm going to take another look at them after I'm done here. And get IP and oop, poop. Hi, person. Okay. 
Oops. Oh, shit. I don't know why, but the game minimized there for a second. I'm sure it's something else I'm doing on my machine. Package has been created. Okay. Copyright notice. This document certifies the person who holds this document has paid online taxes and employee wages. This document is eligible for review. The user below the code to our automated system checks. Okay, am I done now? Can I be done now? Yes. Okay. Sent. We earned a monies or two. Okay. Nick. Um, I know I should be doing my homework. My school doesn't give us Wi-Fi. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, let's take another look here. See what, see if, if we can agree or not. Um, first of all, kind of sketchy. Um, the way that that changed. Um, I really like this game. It's one of the better hacking games on Steam at the moment. The storyline is really cool. This was posted in 2018. Um, on another plus side, the dev is really nice and is very responsive to any changes you might suggest. So, I mean, this person probably knows the dev or maybe even is the dev or something. Um, I wouldn't say this is one of the better hacking games on Steam at the moment, even in 2018, um, because I've played several others that were better. I wouldn't say that this is a bad game. Um, it's not a hacking simulator, obviously. There's nothing realistic about it. It's pretty, but it's not like it's the worst hacking game I've ever played, right? I mean, um, it could certainly use some polish. Uh, I wouldn't say it's an 8 out of a 10, at least not in its current state. And I also don't think it's being actively updated anymore. Um, but, uh, I mean, like I said, it's not the worst. Thing. As far as, like, hacking simulator goes, uh, th this is a game that's it's pretty common fare. I mean, it's um, a hacking aesthetic puzzle game where you in this case it's not even a typing simulator it's just kind of a clicking simulator um and you're doing you know repetitive tasks uh with a with a hacking theme right uh none of the puzzles are particularly hard i only did the first couple so they might you know increase in their difficulty uh definitely obviously some ui issues there or anything and i certainly wouldn't recommend this to somebody who's like i'm looking for a really good hacking simulator or something that's, that's like really true to life this isn't that obviously uh but it's you know it, like i said it's not like it's a terrible game it's actually pretty common fare for the for the genre so uh, i certainly wouldn't give it an 8 out of 10 3.5 might be a little low in my opinion if the U, okay, I'd say 3.5 is fair. It would be a solid 5 out of 10 if the UI issues were fixed. If it looked better and that stupid flashing arrow was gone, it would be, it would be a solid 5 out of 10. Um, but again, it just seems to me to be pretty average for the genre. It's definitely not what I'm looking for, and I definitely wouldn't recommend it to people. I, I definitely didn't have a lot of fun playing it, but it's also a valiant effort definitely in line with about 90% of the genre, right? But the UI issues aside. Um, I got a couple of other good ones coming down the pipeline. I even have one that, that bills itself as an educational game. And that one I can't wait to show you guys. So I'm going to come to that one next as soon as I get a chance to fire this up again. So you take care and we'll see you when we get back to that one.